Hi, Tesla Cats. I'm continuing from where I left off, so let's continue. And my cat is right at my feet. Hi, Mr. Boo. <laughs> um, but anyway, so... If I can think very clearly, because my brain's not doing that today. Um... And when I was in the hospital, there was a girl who sat next to me. I remember things like watching Looney Tunes or the Baby Tunes and um, possibly the Animaniacs. I don't know. I could be remembering that completely wrong. Um, but I remember watching all these things. And my dad just told me a story about how I asked him what a janitor, what the janitor was doing. And how I didn't know what the janitor was and everything. Oh my goodness. It's the attack kitty. It's the attack kitty. Uh. <laughs> um. Um. And. Yeah. I also remember making friends with a guy. I'm, I know him in real life. And quite frankly, there's been a lot of changes between us since then. I don't even really talk to him anymore, but I'm not gonna bring up his name anyway. Um, so there's that. Um, but we, the only real first argument I had with a friend at the time was with this guy. And, uh, there were a lot of stupid things, because when you're a little kid, you expect everything to go your way. Um, but I just remember being chipper and happy and going to church and always wanting to go to church and never wanting to miss a day of church on a Saturday after a while because it was so great to go to church as a kid. Because for me, that was a lot of fun. And it still is, actually, ironically. Enough. There's still some pretty profound things I learned from Willow Creek, so I can't thank them enough for part of my, for my upbringing and from what, for what I learned from them and just all this amazing stuff. Um, but eventually... Um, we got to my first spelling test, and I failed it. Uh, and that was the first time I really, quote-unquote, got upset at school. The first time I ever really got upset with school, I would say. I'm not sure if that's a fact or not, but I think it really was. Um, I was in the second grade. Um, I don't remember my teacher's name. I sort of remember what she looked like, but not very well. And I didn't bother to study for the first spelling test. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to be easy. I'm going to ace it, you know, that type of thing. And I ended up getting a big fat zero because I didn't study. Because I thought it would be easy. Because stupid little kid me didn't think about it. Um, so my parents saw it. They got a little upset, but they also were like, no, she needs, she needs to get a better grade on it than this. So they said... What happened? And I explained kind of what happened in the most whiny little kid way possible. Like, I didn't get it. It's stupid. You know, those types of things. The things you say as a little kid when you don't get something right. And my parents were like, I don't know if it was second or first grade. I could have been completely wrong on grades, but my parents, my dad said, you can't cry all the time. You got to try. So, from every spelling test forward for about, I think, a couple of years, I started, my dad and my mom would make me, con but I don't remember for a fact if that's true, would make me write out the words completely over and over again in a notebook. Sometimes I would still transpose the letters, but I got, but after a while I started getting A's on my spelling tests and my reading tests and stuff like that, and this helped out a lot as I got older. Um, and it's because my parents have believed in me a lot that I have been able to keep going with a lot of things in my life and that they encourage me a lot. Not everyone has that in their life and my parents weren't the, are not the exception. They've had problems with their own families that I don't even know the gist of. But that aside, um, my mom and dad finally told me, hey, we're going to be moving. And I'm like, what? Why? And at the time, I loved, I loved Tyler Witch Hours. I thought it was the most amazing place ever, despite all the weird things that had happened in my childhood and all the crazy things that had happened in my childhood. I loved 